Hi friends, somehow recently there was a need for a powerful lithium-ion battery. In one of the next videos it will be clear why such a battery is needed. In this video I will show you how to properly assemble a battery from lithium-ion cans of the standard 18650. In short, all by the rules. I hope it will be interesting. In my case, the battery is 14.8 volts, that is, 4 cans connected in series. To increase the total capacity, parallel to each one another is connected. The cans were taken from the old laptop battery. I was lucky and cheaply bought a fully working battery, which includes 8 cans. By the way, cans are some of the best kind, a Panasonic. Then all the cans passed the stage of charge and discharge to identify the capacitance. And I was lucky again, with a discharge current of 1 ampere, the capacity of all the batteries was 2300 mAh. The internal resistance of the cans was also the same. Thus, the total capacity of our battery will be about 4600 mAh at a voltage of 14.8 volts. In a fully charged condition, this voltage will reach 16.8 volts. Later, I removed the traces of the old welding by using my favorite tool. How I did it was shown in one of the videos. A link can be found in the description. Earlier, especially for this project, plastic cells were ordered from China. They are used to assemble batteries using 18650 cans. The cans were connected to each other with the help of nickel tires. The tire parameters will be specified a little later. The cans are installed in such a way that the output contacts, in other words, the plus and minus of battery, come out on one side. This is convenient. Welding was done by my self-made apparatus. Links to all the videos about this device will also be in the description. The charge controller performs several functions, including battery protection against short circuits, overcharging and deep discharge. The board is designed for 4 cans. The current of protection is 30 amperes, but I reduced it to 15, removing 1 and current sensors. The cans were additionally fixed with hot melt glue. Ideally, it is desirable to use hermetic. This is necessary in order to exclude the breakage of welding points in the case of long-term battery vibrations. In general, so that the banks don't stagger. These cans are not high current type. Each one can be discharged with currents of no more than 5 amperes. Taking into account that each unit consists of two parallel connected cans, it turns out that the battery can discharge about 10 amperes, and at 15 amperes will already work protection. You can generate the Gerber file of your PCB and send it to production. Our permanent partner, the service GLCPCB, will produce for you printed circuit boards of any complexity. Soon we will show their production process in detail. It will be very interesting. The boards are manufactured at shortest time and free shipping is still available at the first order. A link to GLCPCB can be found in the description. Now the complete assembly process will be displayed. I remind you that in the description you will find all the necessary links, including those for the assembly of similar batteries. Please don't forget to subscribe to our group where you can get answers to questions related to electronics. On this I say goodbye and wish you a pleasant viewing. With you was Kaysian TV.